Good evening from Dukesfield. We got Lady Redskin soccer action tonight. And we're getting ready for the announcing of starting lineups by field announcer Christy Correa. Colors being presented tonight by the Loudoun High School NJROTC. As the players line up on the sideline for the playing of our national anthem. And as the cadets march off the field, getting ready to announce lineups, Marvin Fiesel, the best looking one of the bunch up here with Charinette Fiesel and Me, Luke Amber. Gentlemen, you wanna introduce yourselves here while we're waiting on lineups? Well, I'm Marvin Fiesel's better half. Other than that, <laughs> it's Charinette Fiesel. Everyone already knows me. I mean, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> well, it's amazing that we've sorted out and everything you said is already wrong because <laughs> you're not that big of a deal and my better half is at home and now for our lady falcon soccer your mother. lineups luke how are things going tonight uh, uh, pretty good when, uh, number 26 uh, mr casey was up here he'd say andrea andres andres francisco <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two. <laughs> maria andres sebastian <laughs> number nine juana archuela Number seven. As you can hear, starting lineups Kenzie being announced Jesus tonight Torres. by the Number one and one. only Santiago Abby Correa. Number, number two, Ahmed Felipe Diaz. <laughs> number 11, Leslie, Leslie Hernandez. Number 10, Beria Miranda. Number 17, Isi Orta. Number 24, Carmen Felipe. And number 13, Maria Celaya. And that's the starting lineup for your Fulton Lady Falcons. And guys, one of the things I noticed right off the bat, two subs. There's only, no, oh, there's only two subs on the touch line. Uh, and now for our 2020 Lady Redskin soccer team, number 11, Alexandra Pulguita Lopez. Number 32, Alondra Nostapin Vasquez. Number 9, 
Bethany Quickfoot Stevens. Number 12, Bridget the Striker Nicolas. Number 4, Kaden the Defender Brooks. Number 7, Kayela the Beast Correa. Number 13, Kenya Fireball Valdezon. Number 1, Margarita Selvi. Number 3, Maria the Slayer Navarrete. Number 10, Stephanie Speedy Gonzalez. Number 22, Yareli the Diva Gonzalez. Head coach, Sam Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the combination of Mr. Santi Correa with the Fulton Falcon lineup and his better half cheering it, Miss Correa. She's with great. the uh, loud and lady. We'd like to announce that our concession stand is open. Our concession stand is open. So if you're watching this on the internet and want to feel a really nice autumn evening, come out here. The concession stand is open as we get ready for kickoff. Lady Redskins coming off a couple of big wins, Charinette. Uh, five to two at William Blunt. And five to two also at the Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. Arranca el partido de juego. And Santi is at it down there on the PA. Abby Brooks keeps the ball in. It's like going to be an easy grab Yeah, that ball just uh, hung on the outside of the touch line there. So, Maria the Slayer Navarrete had to uh, knock that one out, the Fulton throw in. Throw in by Abby Diggs, gonna be headed around. That's off the shoulder of a Fulton player. Redskins holding tough in the box. Luke, the, the Lady Falcons have got nobody in the middle of the pitch right here. We're gonna just run it all the way into, a lot of into their half. Even. But you know, when uh, the last broadcast we did here with the uh, Lady Redskins, saw a lot of balls over the top to uh, Kenya, Fireball, <laughs> Valdezon. Now what? She and, get that uh, name there, Morgan. Well, I think you've met her, son. She's blown by you on the pitch a few times. Oh. Kenya's pretty hard to handle, and I think the Lady Falcons know that because, Luke, that fullback line was way back. Yeah, they're, they're sitting way deep I right mean, now, too. Could be close to the same result. It's, uh, they're willing to give up that middle 30 yards to, to not get one over behind them. And not very sure-footed by, by the Lady Falcons. And we're gonna have to do a camera adjustment <laughs> here, guys, because we can't catch that corner. There we go. It's gonna be thrown in by Alexander Lopez finds Kenya looking for options. Right, Tries to drop it back to the midfield and that's gonna be knocked out by the Lady Falcons. Abby Brooks let that go. Now Luke, I thought in high school if the ball never, never. came in on the throw that uh, that you just threw it again. Is that is I that think it rolled out. Came in and it rolled came out. Came in and rolled out. Might have felt from this angle up here. Of course, remember there's no offsides on throw ins, yeah. so the Lady Falcons trying to get a run down the touch line. Got that out. That's, that's going to be punched out by Navarrete. <laughs> Abby.
Abby Diggs with another throw in for the Lady Falcons. Bodied by the Redskins. Served back in by Diggs. And not a bad outswinger right there. There's just nobody there for him. If they had someone on the back post, that'd be bad. Yeah. It, if, uh, yeah, if they had anybody running the back post, they had a shot at a goal right there, but nobody home. So, Margarita, uh, can you can you roll your R's? Luke? Yeah, I can do it. Uh, so, give it, give us a good um, uh, Margarita for Marietta Selby there. That's that's her that's her name in class, I understand. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Margarita. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. What about you, Cherry? What? You got you got a good one? I got a good one. Margarita. Uh Cherry, that it good. that came from the throat there, that didn't count. <laughs> Lady Redskins looking for options in the middle of the field. Ball was being held there by Bridget Nicholas. And Madam Referee has blown her whistle. That's uh, is this gonna be a drop ball? Yeah, looks like. So Lopez trying to get past that back line of the Lady Falcons. It's gonna be knocked out. Is it? Am I seeing things? Is what color is Abby's hair tonight? It is purple. That's not Abby. That's Caden. Oh, I mean Caden. <laughs> I always say that, Abby. All the Brookses are the same. <laughs> it is purple. I hope she hears that, Jeanette. <laughs> That's. I think she's the smartest out of the three, too. I think you said this last time, too, yeah. and you got in trouble for it. Yeah. In my heart, that that purple hair is for her old days down in, down with me in Warrior Nation. But uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out find out later. Dangerous throw into the middle. And that's going to be cleared away by the Falcons. Stephanie Speedy Gonzalez down there putting the pressure on. I like that one. Yeah. And to clarify, all of these names came to us from uh, Miss Correa. <laughs> so. Redskins are going to play it up to the corner of the box off the corner kick, looking for an angle. One from the training ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Wow. Oh my! Nice. Wow. And that ball. <laughs> Kenya with the left oh. foot, and it took a bounce out of nowhere. And <laughs> that bounced off the post. That even got a golazo out of Miss Correa. So. Mm, nice shot. Look, look! It almost looked like the ball bounced back to the left. I think it and caught took a the, spin off the post. Caught, it yeah, that was a the keeper off guard. I think she was looking for an easy roll and it took a deflection. Yeah. So the Lady Redskins with uh, in the seventh minute here go up one nil over the Lady Falcons. We'll kick it off again from the Loudon L. Now, with limited number of subs, Marvin, do you think yeah. they're looking to score early and try to keep possession, or not really keep possession, but just keep I the mean, game alive. I mean, look, if you look right here, Chernet, I mean, they're holding, it's like they're holding two defensive mids and a, and a, and a three-man fullback line. They're holding them all the way back on the other 40-yard line. I mean, it's like they haven't they're, been since the kickoff. Yeah, they, so I mean, they're not, they're not asking a whole lot out of their defense in, in terms of running the field, and that may be to do with the fact that they only have the two subs over there. There's, I mean, there's literally, when we're down in the box, 40 yards of empty space. Yeah. I mean, that middle is just empty. So, I mean, the Redskins will be able to carry the ball all night in the middle third, as Kenya's doing right now. Oh. Went, went for the pass and whiffed on it. She had the right. right idea, though, trying to work that empty space. Yeah, it looks like uh, probably a combination of, of, of keeping fresh legs on the defense, but also knowing about that speed the Redskins have got over the top. Um, but our Lady Redskins keeping a nice compact formation as we move up and down the field. And there's a nice ball up. 
And that's Bridget, Bridget moves the ball into the box. Doesn't have a shot, flicks over to Alejandra. And the Falcons are able to defend that away, but that's going to be a red skin corner. Nice move there by, by the striker to get the ball in place for a shot on goal. Huh? That might have been Stephanie. Was that Stephanie? I think that was. Oh, that was, yeah, that was. That was speedy. Yep. <laughs> Showing off those quick feet. Cutting off that pass. Yeah, Bridget's back at defense. There you go. Nice ball, dangerous ball up into the middle. Nobody's able to get a foot on it. Kenya takes another long shot, and that one's going to be blocked. Punched back out by the Falcons, but. I mean, this is another thing since they don't have anyone pushed up. They're going to have to keep the Exactly. A great ball. And... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a good look. Was that a shot or a cross? That, what did you think about that? I don't know, but I, th I think the the Falcon the Fulton Falcons saw yeah. the beast over there with the ball on her toe. Make a tongue dance on it. They flew the coop on that one. <laughs> but the ball goes harmlessly out of play, and that'll be a goal kick for the Falcons. And they'll have that kick taken by one of their fullbacks. Those numbers are really tiny on their jerseys, hard to read. So long hair doesn't make it better. Yeah, they, that's all yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> so we've got a whistle by the referee. Loudon's trying to sub. Coming on to the field, number thirty, Angel Baker, and number twenty-one, Taylor Mua. Yep. And coming off will be Lopez and Stephanie. And Stephanie Gonzalez. It's another advantage we have is fresh legs. <clears throat> yeah. Redskins have got a nice uh, full bench of reserves. I mean, get through. You guys have played a lot of seasons. You you've got to have lots of you got to have lots of bodies to to put out on the field because. It'll wear you yeah, out. <laughs> uh, for a full game is you watch uh, you watch in the professional ranks, and it's uh, very rare to watch to watch guys start two games within three days. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of these ladies are playing eighty minutes a game, two or three times a week. Yeah, it definitely helps. Caden, nice guy. job bringing that back in. Good, good ball up to Kenya. Crosses over. She's got one girl to beat. She's there, and she's going to take the long shot. Oh, what a save. Good save by the keep. Good save by – wasn't a clean catch. <laughs> but uh, she's That's able to parry point. the ball down and get on it. That's An Angelina Francisco, the Lady Falcon keeper. A couple of nice crossover dribbles up by Kenya, and she had it wide open on that preferred left lefty? foot. Yeah. Is she a lefty? Uh, that's, that's three strikes with the left so far tonight. Nice job right there by Caden Brooks keeping the ball in. Lady Redskins are going to bring it up this near touch line. Got Defended by, by the Falcons. There's open players all over in the middle. There's whatever side they're on, um, they're sending their defenders to cover that side. Not really caring about the middle, though. So if we can get a ball through there. Yeah. And there goes Kenya again. And and that one was off the right, and that's just wide. That looked like it was an upper 90 from this angle. And my apologies to anybody watching this because uh, I get distracted by the game loop and forget to move the camera. <laughs> so, no. It's an honest mistake. El elbow me here off camera when it, uh, when it doesn't move. Not you, Chair. I got you. So, no, don't, another, don't, don't knock the uh, iPad out of the window. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'd like to take a moment to thank Mr. Ray Udy for loaning us her, uh, lending us her first grade iPad for uh, running the game tonight. And of course, always Mr. Chip Lynn for all his support of Loudon High School, uh, Fort Loudon Middle, Philadelphia Elementary, uh, 
Greenback, he's all over the place. Supporting athletics as we had a Lady Redskin shaken up on the play. Taylor Miller. Yeah, Taylor walks off on her own power there. I think there's Alexander a Lopez will come back on the, the game. And Jen. Dr. Jen right there. And talk about somebody else who's always supporting the Loudon Redskins. There's Jen Rossi over there on the touchline, making sure our ladies are ready to go. <clears throat> Good mob movement right there by the Lady Redskins. Caden Bru that's Caden's already made several nice passes uh, coming forward from that right or that left back position. Ball bouncing around at the top of the box. Falcons clear, but again, Luke, there's that there's giant, no there. that giant empty space. They're content to let us keep possession. It's just going to end up. They're just going to be kicking it back into and that hole. And they're not Angel Baker it. bodied there. Referee says, <laughs> "Fair play, move on." And that's out for a lady redskin corner. And uh, in that last game we were here for, guys, Angel Baker made a lot of runs, if I recall. Um, yeah. Some we're good speed. The Falcons get physical already. <laughs> Redskins have uh, shown a speed advantage already in this game, but what's impressed me the most so far, guys, is keeping our heads up and passing oh, the ball. It's two back to back. She's going to be yeah. <laughs> She's going to be waking up in it's all right, Angel. We got Jen over here on the touchline. Put some moss on it. Now, my day, we just said rub some dirt on it. <laughs> we didn't. Ice hadn't been invented yet, so we'd just uh, take a little dirt, rub on there, and it is okay. Another goal kick for the Lady Falcons. Redskins playing a high line on defense and. Ooh. For good reason, Angel Baker takes it. To the gut. That's one thing I wish you guys uh, would, would realize over there on the boys' side, that you have, you have more to play the ball with than just your foot. Because <laughs> that ball did not go through. Yeah, I think they started to realize that they can't get very far in the ball. Fal yeah, Falcons tried to went over the top. Navarrete's going to get the ball, turn it. Thought she was going to play it back to, to Marietta there for just a moment. Able to make a turn, play it back up. Kyle is going to bring it up to the center of the pitch. Knocked away by the Falcons, but here comes Caden Brooks. Caden. Caden looking for the dribble right up the touchline. She's she's oh, entered the box. Ball <laughs> got caught under her. <laughs> Got under. She had uh, she had Sports Center on her mind right there. <laughs> nice throw by Caden, being able to lead uh, Kenya down that touchline. Kenya crosses over, and good job by the keeper there. That's a corner. Yeah, that's a corner. She walked she, out. She, she yeah, she ball. she went out the byline with that ball, and so that's going to be a red skin corner. Give me. Good angle there, Marvin. I've got it. Okay. I've got it. I've Just got that corner sure flag we're... right down here. Because if I go over I'll go over one more centimeter, you're gonna get the side of this window we're shooting out right here. Okay. So Kyle's corner kick comes across. Dangerous looking ball. It's gonna be a handball. And yep. Handball on the handball Reds. on the Lady Redskin, so be a free kick to the Lady Falcons. And again, Luke, I mean, Lady Redskins in a pretty, staying pretty compact in their shape. There's, there's not much more than 20, 25 yards between our center back and our, uh, and our center forward. Keeping them trapped inside their half. 
because the and 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 the Lady Falcons are playing right into our hands there because they're willing to to lay back with with five. Mm -hmm. So even on the counter, we've got enough speed in the back to track down anything before they can get anywhere near our Lady Redskin goal. And here's the Falcons trying to clearing it out. They are taking zero chances. <laughs> Well, I think, Charinette, I think she was trying to just put the ball over the top and hoping somebody ran up to it and well, just, the thing um, there, just missed. I don't see anyone up top. <laughs> there isn't anybody <laughs> up top because... I think they're just trying to prevent another goal. Yeah. Can't talk, about, talk about, you know, parking the bus is sometimes a strategy you'll use. I'm not sure we got off the bus. And that's going to be up the far touch line. Yeah. Ball goes out. Is that Stephanie over there? Stephanie Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy. Ball goes off Speedy, and that'll be a Fulton throw in. Redskins are right there. I don't know how she got out of that double team, but that's going to be intercepted by Navarrete. And like she didn't get out of it. no, she didn't get out of it. Center ref said that ball went out of touch, so it's going to be a throw in. Nice throw, looking for Kenya, and that's going to she's going to get a touch on it and tucks it into the left corner of that goal. Goal! I can't <laughs> and Senora Correa on the call. And that'll be two for Kenya Valdezon. We are in the 19th minute of play, 21 minutes, 19 seconds to go in the first half with the Lady Redskins leading two to nothing. And um, one dangerous looking cross from the Falcons early on, Luke. Nobody there to see yeah. it. That was earlier, in, like way earlier in the game. So, so far it's been a pretty we dominating have, performance have by the Lady Redskins. Lady Falcons sub in. Can't get a good it's number. center back. Well, can't see a number on her. We'll we'll try <laughs> to get that later. As the Lady Redskins are back in business. They got one player up top and yeah. there's no connection whatsoever. And Luke, that's the I believe that's the first time they've played anybody back. I mean mm -hmm. I think if I'm gonna if I'm going to hold hold my full back line and a couple of stoppers, I mean, I, I don't even know if I could call those defensive midfielders. Yeah. It's almost like they're playing stopper back there. It's, it's just a slight difference in term. Uh, I don't see what it hurts to keep somebody on the back shoulder of the last guy. And Kale is going to throw that in. Good throw. And you can you can you can tell they've been coached up on throw-ins. We have uh, that's been a real advantage so far for our Lady Redskins. A lot of nice leading throws. Of course, no offside on throw-ins. Little little two v one there by Kenya and Alexandra. Still playing it between them. Ooh. Oh, nice ball over to Kayla and just could not get on top of it. That ball still almost came down into the goal. Beautiful, beautiful cross there. and Just a little low for a header, Luke, and a little too high yeah. to punch in the volley. I hate those. <laughs> just kind of an in-betweener. Yeah. I'm not big on headers myself. Now, Charinette, you wouldn't know this from selling the ball over the goal so many times in your career. But I'm just practicing for field, uh, you know, field goals. When you're when you're hitting a volley, you gotta have your knee over top of the ball. Well, that's the thing. I'm you not can't you can't swing up on a volley. You gotta you gotta rotate your hip, get that knee up high, and swing the leg into the ball. Knee points toward the shot. Stephanie. Puts the ball over in the middle. Falcons are going to clear it there, but that's right. That's right to Kayla Correa. And blocking clear by Fulton. They got a runner. <laughs> Not going to get to it though. And uh, just just watching the game, it's just so obvious the the impact on that 
short-sided bench over there on the Fulton side, the Lady Redskins are running the entire pitch up and down. So every place there's action with the ball, we've got them outnumbered. Mm -hmm. This it's almost reminds me of the old days of women's basketball. You guys are too young to remember this, but it used to be they weren't allowed to run the full court. So they'd have three players on one side of the court on offense and three on defense, and you weren't allowed to cross the court. Hmm. It's almost the it's almost the look the Lady Falcons are given here. Yeah. You know, that big divide in the middle. <laughs> they got half their team on one side. And then the other Whereas, the other. yeah, the Lady Redskins at that. This is the most we've seen. Uh, this is the most distance we've seen between the front and back line of the Lady Redskins. The team was spread out a whopping 30 yards on the field right there. I would just call that. I'd just call that aggressive, Luke. Yeah. So another another attempt by the Lady Falcons to go over the top, and they're not going to outrun Navarrete. I mean, again, I, that didn't seem to be a pass uh, to anybody. Just putting it up, hoping for the best. Lady Redskins playing very disciplined on defense. It's like instinct, take it out of the middle. Yeah. And we've put the ball into the middle on offense pretty much at will this entire game. 17 minutes to go in this first half. Oh, that's Kenya. Long shot across. cross. I think it was more of a cross though. Hey, I don't know if she was trying to shoot that or crossing that over to a runner. going to go out the byline for a Fulton throw. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but slipping into the booth here is Ben the future Macintosh. <laughs> future principal right there of LHS. Future, future fill in the blank, guys. Ben is um, our play-by-play -play guy for Junior Redskin football, and you can hear him go on redskinradio.com, audio on demand, and you got some of his calls on there. And next week, Ben, you're gonna be live on Wednesday night as our Junior Redskins take on the North Panthers. So, the Junior Battle of the Bridge, you'll have Ben on the call, and you'll have a better cameraman you got tonight. So we'll, we'll get Ben on here a little bit later and talk to him about his Young broadcasting career. Good save by Marietta Selby. That's the most action she'll she'll see. I think the well, way. and notice there, Karen, at the 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 chair net, yeah, <laughs> Care Bear. Oh, yeah. The Redskins did a good job right there defensively, forcing the ball to that far post, that allowing Marietta to to cut down the angle. That's the first. That's yeah, first shot. That's what I yeah. Think. And that should go down as a save. That looked to be a shot on goal. And Lady Falcons may have a shot at a run out here, but there's Navarrete. She's Ooh. everywhere tonight. And even though there's a whistle there for a Fulton free kick, I mean, you, you saw that right there. Caden, as soon as she got the ball on her toe, flipped the field and they were ready to run back up the far touch line. Seems like they've been coached well. They, yes. Uh, very good positioning by the Lady Redskin defense tonight. <laughs> Got to think the, the Lady Falcons are just going to try to put the ball up into the edge of the box and see what happens here. But that, that ball's low, and that's going to be taken by the Redskins. So... Kayla looking for options. Nice ball up. To Bridget. Bridget's got a couple of middle runners. Oh, and oh, Kenya. Kenya. What a touch. Another crossover. Beautiful oh, shot. Another lefty. Parried by the keeper. 
But that ball had too much bend on it, and it's going to find the end. The inside of that right post. Beautiful shot right there, Luke. It's a beautiful play, and gentle and touch and everything. Yeah, I thought it was going to curve back outside, but she managed to squeeze it in. She might be able to start for she, the boys. Um, <laughs> we do need oh, there's not a mite to it, son. Uh, but, I mean... You know, every now and then in a game, you get that like, little scorpion touch that Kenya had right there, and you know, and then something happened. But she took that ball all the way in, crossed them up again, and then started the ball toward this near post, and it just was an outswinger, deflected off the keeper's hands. Beautiful play. So Kenya already at the hat trick. Pass. Oh, what a pass to Angel Baker. Oh. Unlucky. And that ball's off the post. That was very unselfish of Kenny right there. Oh. And as, as nice as that goal was, that pass may have been even even nicer right there, Luke. Yeah, the linesman raised their flag. Is that a goal? That's a goal. So wow. they crossed the line. The center ref and the AR confer. Referee's gonna stop the clock and she has awarded the goal to Angel Baker. So with 13 minutes, 18 seconds to go in the first half, Kenya Valdezon working on a hat trick and the nicest the assist Angel. I've seen in a few games over to Angel Baker. Beautiful, beautiful ball. I mean, it was just right on the money. Perfectly weighted. I, Luke, I think Cherinet could have even tapped that in. <laughs> I, I prefer long distance. I think Kenya and, knew that uh, she's getting all the attention, so she's uh, the defenders. And <laughs> but that's – the guys, that's a teammate right there and feeding the ball to, to, to your other teammates. You, it'll, it'll turn around. You'll get it back in the future. Oh, yeah. Redskins just dominating in every phase of the game here. And rare trip into the box for the ball on that one for the for the Falcons. Redskins forced to put it out the back for a corner. And that was number 24, Carmen Felipe, putting on the pressure. And she appears. Nope. Thought she was going to take the corner, but she it's going to be trot back to the middle. She might have been trying to get Caden Brooks off of her. <laughs> so that's Abby Diggs. Really nice corner. Falls in a dangerous location. Lady Falcons don't take the shot. Taken away by the Redskins. And here we go the other way. It's a Londra. Yeah, a Londra Vasquez. Well, trying to get the yep. one too. A no stopping Vasquez. There's that hole that we were talking about. Yeah. There's nobody there. Just a little long, but uh, Kyla Correa reclaims it for the Lady Redskins. And Bridget Nicholas is going to take it down the far touch line. Center back comes over to help out a long shot. That'll be another save for the Lady Falcon keeper, Angelina Francisco. Nice looking ball there, and that, it took a it took a little um, short hop. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you even saw it because uh, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> Luke, you didn't know, buddy. Uh, it's hard to keep up with it. Bridget from all the way at the corner of the box, and it took a very awkward short hop. Good front smothered by the keeper, and she was able to keep it out. Very good pass. Nice job there, Taylor Mua, and that gets the ball down to Angel Ooh. Baker. Diving saved by Francisco. Fulton Keeper lighting up the stat sheet. That punt's going to be fielded by the Redskins. Back up to Angel Baker. Nice touch over to, is that Bridget? I think so. Yeah. It was a cannon. That was, yeah, Bridget's got a leg. <laughs> that ball was shot out of the cannon. I agree with you on that one, Cherry, and it hits the crossbar. Oh, yeah. Give her a try at kicker for football. 
Yeah, you better watch out, son. <laughs> Bridget will be out there. She'll have your spot. I need somebody. It's my last year. I need a break. That was a, I mean, that was just a screamer. All the keeper could do is hope it went high. It's going to be another Fulton goal kick. Tries to tries to play it over here to the far touch line, but nobody plays the ball for the Lady Falcons. It'll be a Redskin throw in. Knocked out by, I think that's Abby Diggs all the way over on the other side of the, she, looks like she's playing the entire field tonight because she's making throw ins and corners on this side and she's over on the other touch line. Nice move there by the Lady Redskins. I guess that deflection comes off a of face there. No, no, no handball. Still in, and you know, Falcons with plenty of time right there choose to clear it out the touch line. Yeah, they're just I think they're in Not, panic mode right now. It's I, all the pressure. I mean, and then look at the formation right now. I mean, all 10 Redskin players up inside the 30 yard line. I mean, no one up. I mean, not even for. Well, and you know they've got they've got they got a forward back here on on our last defender, but she's in her own half. She could stand back twenty yards behind us if she chose and force us to force to move that fullback line back. But you know, literally taking it to heart, stand on the shoulder <laughs> of the last man. I mean, right right here, she could be standing eight nine yards behind us. Yeah, that'd be catastrophic if the ball got through to her like that. That's that's Carmen Felipe. Meanwhile, the Redskins with the ball back up in the middle of the pitch. Kenya's got it on this left side. And uh, that's going to be wide left of the upright. And uh, Angelina Francisco's got to chase that down. If you heard a loud noise in the background, that was a baseball coming over the baseball field right next door. So somebody must be taking a little BP. <laughs> Only seven minutes to go in this first half. Lady Redskins leading four to nil over the Fulton Lady Falcons. Story of the game so far, Lady Falcons with only two subs choosing to play a very long game for them. Yeah, very I don't I don't know what to call the style chair in it. Uh, I'm parking the bus. I mean the There's another look. Even back in the Lady Redskins with nice touches. Good job of moving the ball around the field. Good throwing game tonight, but also keeping that compact shape, moving up and down the field with the ball. And it's it's like 10 on five everywhere the ball is. They've had some good transitions. Yeah, they're all too close together. They're basically like those two together in the space of like five yards. They might as well just be one person. They can't work the ball around at all. And that's, that's the irony, Luke. I mean, they're only committing four or five forward, but they're bunching up. All at the same spot. And uh, yeah. Lady Redskins, dangerous right there by Navarrete with that hand up in the air. She doesn't make contact and uh, pushed by the Lady Falcons. They'll be whistled for the foul. Fairly clean one game so far though, guys. Oh, that's a yellow. And I jinxed it, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Fairly clean game, So I said so far. Yeah. Yellow card comes out, and uh, was that Carmen Felipe that got the card? The forward on the far side for the Falcons. So her name will her name will go in the book. And in high school action, it, with a yellow card, you have to sit out for five minutes of game play 
so she won't be back available to her team until there's about 40 seconds left on the clock. Meanwhile, Angel Baker right up the middle. Finally stopped there. Again, having a hard time. I think that was Bella Miranda. So, another handball. Um, yeah, I just got, couldn't. I just couldn't see the name, okay. the, the hair. All right. the handball on the Fulton Lady Falcons. This could be dangerous. Very dangerous. And that ball's gonna gonna yeah, float right. all the way up to <laughs> Kenya Valdezon, one on one with the goalkeeper, Easy and calmly taps it into the side netting. And that, Luke, is four. The hat trick. Oh, no, 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 son. That's four for She's Kenya Valdezon. No, so not that sure. will be a haul. It's a haul. Go, let's go. <laughs> All right, Kenya. so let's see what you remember. Six is a double hat trick. Six is a double hat trick, and, it, and you get to, now wait a minute, you skipped five. I don't remember <laughs> that one. Okay, <laughs> well, well that's. It. That's a, what is that, a sack or something? <laughs> Okay, so I think even the water boy would tell you that five goals is not a sack, son. I don't know. So, uh, five goals is called a glut. A glut. Yeah, a glut. Weird. I was, it was almost not, there. Not the, it was on the tip of my tongue. Not the smoothest roll off your tongue word, but it's called a glut, son. Now you got, you got a two as a double hat trick and seven. I thought that was the muscle on your rear. Glut. No, no, no. Okay. I miss it. So, and and uh, also un for unseen to the to the viewers here, uh, Mr. Scott McIntosh, principal of Loudon High School, has entered the booth. No, no doubt, ex feeling shame for We're learning. the lack of academic prowess by one of his students up here who needs to pay a little I more attention in, in science class. Mr. Sandman's tough. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, you gotta keep it interesting. Mr. Mac giving him credit for his sense of humor here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I tell you, I really love what the Lady Redskins are doing right here, Luke. They've got a 5 0 lead, three minutes to go in the half. And we're turning around, passing the ball back, all the way back to the keeper. I'm going to play it back up from the back, getting some good reps in on moving the ball. Speaking of a lot of clean to, passes. Yeah, speaking of putting it back to the keeper, if it keeps up like this, Marietta could, Marietta could uh, she could get a chance to strike her again like in the last game yeah. over here. Oh, they tried so hard to get her the ball up front in that last game. Almost had it right at the death, too. Last second. Did you, did you catch my soccer lingo there, son? Right at the death yeah. there. That's... That, that's British that's British football talk for at the end of the game. Oh, par parking the bus. Coach Mac, what's it called when you're stalling? <laughs> yeah, it's you, you park the bus. You, you put everybody back and just clog up the box. It's, Mr. Mac, that's uh, the equivalent in football to almost like just uh, – you know the other team's not going to throw the ball on you, so you just you just load everybody into the box and say, run it at us. Oh, nice there by Caden Brooks. Back to Marietta. Brings it back up. Beautiful ball. That's going to roll all the way up to, to the center of the pitch to Kenya Valdezon. Looks like she was looking for that right side. Wide open. Yep, she was looking to, looking to flip the field there and go up that far touch line. And uh, if you look formationally, Luke, um, we've blown by that right back a few times, forcing the center back to come over and cover, leaving the middle of the field yeah. wide open to runners. Because Fulton right. choosing to only run that uh, three full back formation. Looks like a, right now, like a three, two, two, three almost. Uh, kind of an. Just up in kind of an odd way of doing it. Now, Chair never finished up earlier there. Seven goals. 
You got the double hat trick at six, seven goals in a game. Let's see. Five is a glut. Five's a glut. So Kenya's on a haul right now with four. So we got the single, she got the brace, she got the hat trick, she got the haul. No, she's not on a glut, she's on a haul. She's on a haul. Looking for a glut. Then the double hat trick. Come on, come on, seven. They break it down, four oh, yeah. plus three. Coach Mack, it's got haul it over trick. there, the haul trick. A haul trick? That's what Hall's four and a hat trick's three. It's a haul trick. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, somebody's gonna have to get on their phone and find out what an eight is. I don't know if that's a double haul or, or what that if is. that happens in a the game, then. In golf, we call it a snowman, and that's a bad, bad thing. <laughs> Look, you make an eight. It looks like a little snowman stacked up there. And time expires. And the Lady Redskins have just been absolutely dominant. And uh, they're going to come over, get a water break. And uh, not sure Coach Sam has a whole lot of coaching to do right here. Uh, <laughs> they're doing pretty much everything. About five right. touchdowns at halftime. <laughs> Don't forget to stop and get your hot chocolates at the concessions or a cup of hot coffee, candy, so, chips. If you, if you choose to join us here on campus for the second half, got some uh, hot coffee down in the concession stand. But I'm going to flip the camera here and, uh, oh, there we go. Got some good shadows going tonight. Got our man Ben McIntosh here. Luke and Cherry, if you'd like to, uh, you know. I'm all about the Cherry Cherry Sharing it with a face for radio here. Uh, ben is the voice of the Junior Redskins. Um, already got three games under your belt so far. What's it been like, Ben, for you as a new broadcaster? And by the way, Ben is completely on the spot right here. We did not prepare anything. I just said, Ben, come over here. Of course, Ben, being a good kid, always does what he's told. Um, Dad may be shaking his head in the back. <laughs> Ben, what's it been like for you as a as a middle school student to get on the microphone? Because we all know how much you like to talk. Well, it's always been pretty nice because I, I've never done radio before, but I know my dad has done radio before, and I want to pick that up behind him. I have good you know, teammates down there and help them technicians and color commentators. Yeah. And we've got about 10 kids in radio crew who faithfully come every week. Of course, you're also Ben back on the sports attack every Friday at halftime of the Redskin football game. And uh, you told me earlier that sports broadcasting and journalism is something you kind of had an interest in in the future. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I think that's always been, you know, some of the cool stuff that you can do. Um, I've always looked up to those people. They do a great job mentioned your dad earlier. It was very entertaining back in the day. I, I'm not sure you were even around yet then. It was your dad, uh, Master Sergeant Dukes, who we call Tom, and uh, Ken Everett, I believe, was the trio. And uh, I remember one game, uh, we were playing Sequoia, and Sequoia had a kid named Malachi. Now, I don't know if Tom hadn't read the Old Testament in a while, or what the deal was, but he thought the kid's name was Malachi in the whole game. And he, the kid was everywhere making all kinds of plays and he's Malachi. And uh, I don't know if it was him, because one uh, at one point you had uh, uh, the basketball coach, uh, Coach uh, Eric Mitchell, and he invented the word, if I'm not, was it him that invented the word shoe tackle? So a lot, of, a lot of shenanigans back in the day when your dad, of course now your dad played college football. So um, unlike, uh, unlike Top, who is a Georgia fan, <laughs> your dad knew what he was talking about. So you, you told me before, he's kind of one of your heroes. So what, what's the pressure like growing up in the house of, of B underscore Scott Mack? <laughs> You've got a good one there in Loudon High School. Very lucky to have Mr. Mack uh, as a as a Redskin alumni. 
alumnus of singular, Latin singular. I am very Always proud right. to have Mr. Mack at the helm of my alma mater. Chair Nett, Luke, you guys uh, will turn this into a conversation for a few minutes about life at Loudon High School. Now remember, Mr. McIntosh is within hearing distance of what you say. So what's it been like here? I mean, I know last year, the year cut short, COVID-19, you guys didn't get your senior year in in soccer. That was tough. Coming back, I, I would say this is probably the most challenging year of school in my 23 years. Uh, and I know it's got to be here at the high school too. Um, talk about what it's been like to come back to, to Loudoun High School, coming through, going to school through a pandemic, and, and what has Mr. Mack and his team at the school done for you guys to, to help with that transition? We can definitely say it's not been normal, but uh, they've adjusted to everything, you know, they've done what they're supposed to. We're, we're very grateful to have a team like that. You know. You're not prepared for anything. And as somebody that works in the school system, you know, it's hard for adjustment like that, and they've done a very good job. Luke, what, what are some things that have been done at Loudoun High School to try to take the edge off all the COVID pressure? First thing in the morning, as soon as you walk in, or right before you walk in, actually, they take your temperature to make sure you haven't got a fever or anything like that, so they know you're going into the school. You should be relatively okay. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, there's always a few exceptions. You know, nobody's perfect. And the jokes about you know if someone coughs in the classroom, they've got COVID. Now, uh, now you, be guys, a you guys run a. Um, the LHS News Magazine runs a talk show. Oh yeah. And um, that's one thing that uh, has been, I think, been a real breath of fresh air at the high school for our students, getting those personalities like Ben Mack here, giving them some air time. Pretty, uh, pretty funny stuff. Yeah. And, we have Landon Mallow and Elijah Hinton running, and I think there couldn't be a better. <laughs> yeah. All right. So since since you brought up Elijah's name, you and I have been with Elijah for a, a long, long time, time. Right. as warriors. Give us an Elijah Hinton laugh, just one time here. <laughs> I mean, you can't. It's like Santa Claus, but he hides in his belly. <laughs> it's just, it's in there. And uh, of course, another innovation there is uh, the morning announcement. Mr. Mack records those, and there's always like a special guest. It's, it's yeah, we've got a very diverse I mean, uh, cultural, like, we have a bunch of student celebrities in our school. Yeah, yeah, you guys have got a lot of personality in Lava High School, doing a good job of showcasing that. Yeah. Uh, and that's been that's something we talk about on our radio crew is what people out there listening they really are interesting in your perspective as a student because they see the stuff that's on Facebook and they they come to the ball games and see but what they don't see is you know the shenanigans that happen behind the scenes in the classroom but that you try not to let Mr. Mike know about there when you go home and eat. The, those letting let the people in and seeing the personality inside the school, I think that also helps take the pressure off of a situation like COVID, where there's a lot of tension, and, and when people can see behind the scenes that we're relaxed, we're we're learning, and we can laugh and have a good time while we do it. I think that I think that helps everybody a lot with stress. Yeah, it definitely takes much stress off. So. Um, uh, what's coming up next at Loudon High School? Well, I mean, the step forward that we're taking with the virtual and everything, I think we're going to leave some of the old stuff behind and fall into that because it seems to be working pretty well. All right, now. What do you mean by that? Did you guys tell Chair that was trying to act really smart? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't have to act. forward to virtual and everything. That is. Tell me something stuff. that, tell me, okay, you brought up virtual learning and distance learning, things like that. What are something, what's something that your teachers are doing in the classroom that you weren't seeing in your class? Well, normally we would have tests on paper and pencil, which that was back in my day. That was a long time ago. But now we're doing it all on Canvas and he's got Zoom meetings and Last night I was able to study for a stats test on, a, on yeah. YouTube. He recorded it. So that was very helpful. And you say he recorded it. It's Mr. a superstar. Mr. Casey. He lost Mr. in a Casey. race not too long ago. He won't admit it. 
And, and who was that? He, he lost in the race, and who was that with? Uh, Chan Pizzo. That's, that's me right here. Okay. I was yes. me when I was hurt, and uh, still be him. He tried so to... was there like a donut laying at the finish line, and that's why you beat <laughs> no, him? No, no. He just wanted to do it. He never flies. I know, I know you've been telling me you're working on that dad part. It's there. I'd he show it, but that's is. not for kids. And speaking of, um, Ben, speaking of doing things a little differently, we had our first uh, Philly Friday assembly uh, few weeks back at, at school and you were the featured speaker for your home room and uh, how many there's what about four or five of us in the room there as you spoke to the whole school over zoom yes. so, uh, well thanks Ben for coming over and talking with us a little bit and uh, that that next broadcast is going to be next Wednesday night the uh, Junior Redskins taking on the North Panthers. Ben will have the broadcast here on redskinradio.com. Uh, that'll be a kickoff six o'clock. And uh, it'll be Ben on the call, so get you, get you a good glass of water and rest up that voice box, son. We've got a game to play next week. And speaking of redskinradio.com, joining the booth too, Mr. Chip Lynn, who makes all of this happen. We mentioned Chip early on. Uh, talk about a guy who gives and gives and gives to, to our community. Um, Chip, we're very grateful for all you do for us and athletics. And, you know, I was talking to Coach Sam uh, about this broadcast. You guys are lucky. 10, 20 years down the road hanging out with your buddies or, you know, once you've got your own family, you can sit around on YouTube or what have, whatever it is at that time and, Hey, guys, look at me back when I used to be back fast. Oh, gosh, I'm not looking forward back to that. Back when I used to, I, okay. I, I don't, we'll Coach it. Sam and I were talking about that. He said he's only got one picture from the whole time he played soccer his whole life. Jeez. All he's got to show for it is a single picture. And um, here these ladies will have this, uh, these videos and these fun times to get to go back and relive. I know at our house, well, how many times we've watched those Periscope videos oh, from, yeah. A couple of years back. You had a good reaction to the goal. Oh, your goal? Yeah. <laughs> May have lost his voice a little bit. And it's easy when Chernet says his goal because, uh, you know, yeah. there was only the one. Yeah. So we know what he's talking about. What was that, freshman so, year? He didn't even mean for it to be a goal. Well, it was, Lady it was Redskins goal. kick off the action, leading 5-0 <laughs> against the Fulton Lady Falcons. Doing a oh, pressing. yeah, a little. We didn't see that in the first half. They definitely had a put -back. It's just been the first minute, though. <laughs> a little more organization to this Fulton formation. Um, they've committed players forward, only holding two back as. The throw goes over to Kenya and be punched out by the Falcons. And that ball goes out the wrong side of the corner flag, so that'll be a corner kick to the Redskins. It'll be Kayla Correa, the beast. <laughs> She's whipped in a couple tonight. See what the, the the short play was covered. It looks like another one from the training ground, yeah. guys. Got the trying to trying to get yeah. Oh, oh what a play! Kenya of Haldison crosses it into the back post, so she is not only on a haul but with two assists and Alexandra. And it looks like uh, Alexandra Burguita Lopez. Now <laughs> well, let's test out your Spanish, Cherinette. Lou Burguita. Mm. Una pulga is a flea, so. Oh, uh, so a little. Yeah, anytime you add ita or ito yeah, yeah. to it, so. Little flea. <laughs> 
and she was awful pesky for the keeper back there. She was buzzing around that back post. Yeah, that was a perfect. Check that, like that, that out, that's son. Pretty good. I like that. That was a perfect pass. Oh, uh, just have it just high enough for her to get it, and high enough or too high it, for the defender to get to it. As much as I went off on that last assist that Kenya had, and how beautiful that pass was, that was that was nice there. I mean, that was just a one timer right into the right into the back post and. Uh, Francisco had no shot at it. So Lady Reds will build up possession from the back again, coming up the near touch line. Beast with her foot on the ball. Looking to play a little 2v1 there. Ball intercepted by the Falcons, but Bridget's got it back. Jarenet, she could just about launch one from there. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> She rocked the crossbar in that first half. And uh, can't say enough too about the play of Caden Brooks tonight. Not only good ball control, but uh, she got some wheels. Yeah. Oh yeah. She could take the speedy nickname as well. Now son, if you're uh, if you're over here drawing up, we don't call them, I guess we call them X's and O's on the old soccer grease board, but what, what's your thought process in having Caden Brooks? And I hope I didn't call her Abby that last time. Uh, that was good. Dude. Did, I, did I call her Caden? Yeah, I think you got you her. Okay. Uh, why, do you like, why do you like a strong uh, speedster over at your left back position? Well, a strong speedster back there, it gives you kind of a cushion because you know that somebody's there to beat, you know, just intercept the pass or any balls coming through. And so that. And most strikers strike with which foot? Right foot. The right foot, so you want somebody strong on that yep. left touch line because that's where your right footers are going to be dribbling the ball up up the touch. That's why it's such a danger to have one that can cross the ball over to the left foot like a, like a Kenya Fireball Valdezon who has been involved in all six red skin goals tonight. It's a real danger when you can go either way with the ball, hard to defend. And again, just Redskins putting on a clinic in the midfield, passing the ball. Ball up over the top, looking for Kenya, and it finds her with a poor clearance. Let's see what she does with it here. And ball. Rolls harmlessly past this near post. What a beautiful nut for some uh, footy action. Yeah, it feels great. As you can see there on the scoreboard, we're in the fifth minute of the second half, so 45th minute of the game. 46th, just crossing to the 46th minute of the game. Lady Redskins leading 6 0. You know, guys, a couple of big upsets recently by the Lady Redskins. They're also undefeated when we're oh, yeah. on Redskin Radio uh, <laughs> blabbering about the game. So, I mean. Good luck. Cher Cher Ed, I'm, I'm sure you'll take full credit for that. Because <laughs> the ball comes in from Bridget Nicholas, the striker, Kenya. And a reverse angle up toward the top of the box, turns and fires with the right foot. Guys, before we were debating if she's right or left footed with the power she's showing on both. I, th I, I don't think, yeah, she I don't think she's order. either. Yeah. That's always a good thing That's, to have. One of, the, right? one of the many things that makes her so dangerous up top is once again, the goal kick uh, stopped short by the Redskins. Oh. Now, she was on side, she was on her own half, and Carmen Felipe is going to have the first dangerous look at goal, pleading to the center ref that Marietta Selby crossed the 18. Madam referee says, no, no ma'am, and play goes on. Little trip over on Angel Baker, who's had it rough tonight. Yeah, she has. <laughs> She's, She's been knocked around like crazy. Yeah. So it was uh, so in that last play, even though Carmen Felipe was behind our entire defense on that pass forward, since she was in her own half, she cannot be offside. Got the breakaway, and Marietta playing very aggressively 
uh, comes out and meets her just right on the 18. Felipe wanted a handball, didn't get it. So here we are back with the ball in play. And uh, there's another dangerous ball, but it'll be Caden Brooks beating the striker to the ball. Great defense right there. And that, you know, when you read the stat sheet and you see time of possession and who scored this goal or that goal, that play by Caden Brooks there, just it doesn't show up in the stats. Yeah, that's a, that's a really but important that, play. She just erased uh, a potential goal off the scoreboard because that, that ball was set in a very dangerous position and uh, it came up so quickly, Marietta had to stay back near her line as uh, Lady Falcons just content to take a whack at it and clear it up the field. Got a sub. Yeah, still got a, got a sub coming in for the Lady Redskins. Uh, it's going to be Taylor Mua. For Alondra Vasquez. And uh, no stopping Alondra Vasquez is going to come off the pitch for the Lady Redskins. 31 minutes, 30 seconds to go in the contest. And just such confidence in those uh, Lady Redskin fullbacks, handling the ball in pressure and not panicking, picking out the pass versus just clearing it upfield. Stark contrast to what we've seen to the, to the opposition. Yeah, defense is doing a real good job tonight. I mean, just very disciplined in their positioning and their passing. And, uh, you know, right there, the old saying, when in doubt, kick it out. And she moved her hair long enough for me to know that that was Juana Archuleta. And you, you haven't seen our Lady Redskins have to do that very much tonight, Luke. Ball bounces off the center ref. And in high school, that is play on. Now Luke, I watch a lot of Premier League, so the new rule there is if the ball touches the center ref, they have to play a drop ball. Yeah, I like that rule. <laughs> uh, you like that rule when it's not yeah, to your advantage. Yeah. But the new handball rule is absolutely horrendous. Yeah, there's so many problems. They can learn a little bit from high school from that one. Trying to play the ball up to Kenya. Somehow that ball slips through three Ooh. defenders. Clean catch there, cleaner catch there by uh, Angelica Francisco. She's got to be double digits on uh, saves. on saves right yeah. now. Even though she's let six through, I mean she's got to have at least a dozen saves. That was a that was a real powerful shot, but it was straight to the keeper. Yeah. Easy. She didn't have to move anywhere for it. I mean Marietta tested twice tonight. Yeah. Uh, had to make one long save. Um, in that first half when the Redskin defense cut the angle, pushed the uh, striker up outside that far post, and then here just recently having to come out and contest one on the touchline. And just... Also, Luke, I love the way you can look out there and see the shape of the uh, Redskin offense or defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, very okay. dis disciplined, position disciplined tonight. Yes. And it's not a matter of luck when we keep coming up with the ball. That's just, that's that's from the training ground. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what Colton's going through. Yep. Not very organized in the back. I'm just kind of running around chasing the ball. And Lady Redskins unable to get anything going there. Now, back in the old days, guys, when we uh, when we had our uh, hot shot undefeated AYSO days, that was our that was our bread and butter play right there. You speed and 
take it up the side, Ten goals crawl, cross in at the corner of the 18, Good old and cross it. Man, if you can get just a little angle coming back on that cross, a little cut back, almost impossible to thin and just sets it up perfectly for a striker to one touch. Yeah. And uh, no way they'll, they'll outrun Caden Brooks on that one. I mean, the speed. And again, can't say enough for the composure. Just took the ball, took her time, turned it, put it back upfield, and, and here we are with the throw in. Yeah, I've been amazed. Well, there. we were with the throw in. Looks like uh, we're trying to slip one, <laughs> slip one past the AR. And no, ma'am. So it'll be a Fulton throw in, but still. Yeah, I've been amazed by the amount of calmness that the Lady Redskins have had on the ball. Um, no panic. Yeah. But you can't tell if they're panicking or not. P possession numbers in this game, yeah. we've got to be in like the 70s. Easily. Uh, in terms of percentage of possession. <clears throat> Cheering at that, you know how possession is calculated. There's nobody over there with a stopwatch, you know, yeah. clicking every time, how, how long you got the ball. How, how's position calculated in here in the, in the old beautiful game? Luke, do you know that one? I have no clue. <laughs> Come on, guys. They go off touches, so oh, passes. Oh, okay. passes so, so, yeah, if you, if, you make, uh, if you make 10 passes and the other team has made 10 passes, it's 50-50 possession, regardless of how long you stood over the ball. Okay. So that that's... <laughs> So next time you look at a stat sheet on, say, uh, the Spurs beating uh, Man U this, this coming weekend, you know, as we run them off the field, <laughs> you can uh, look at the number of completed passes and look at the possession numbers, and those, those percentages will, will work out. Yeah, I did not know that. Been... Going to have a goalkeeper change. And got a lot of Lady Redskins coming on, 31, 36, 16, and 42. So that's going to be Zoe Adams coming in. We've got, uh, did, uh, did I see 31 Hannah Allman come into the game there? 40. That's 41. Uh, 41, yeah. 41. And that's going to be. That must be a new number. Yeah, we don't we don't have 41 on our lineup sheet. Uh, I think that's Desiree Edwards. Is she played okay. last and uh, Yulia Mejia, number 16 in the game, the Lady Redskins. So 25 minutes still to go in the game. Those ladies are going to get plenty of game action here tonight. As the Lady Falcons going to throw it in. That throw straight across the middle of the field usually doesn't work. It no. worked for them that time momentarily. Well, they got oh, coming into that nice ball up and our new goalkeeper, number 41. We don't have a name on our stat sheet. Did you say it was Luke? It might be Desiree Edwards because she was in goal last game. Desiree Edwards. That's in, number 40. And oh, she's, she's gonna get she's gonna get whistled for the handball right there, being outside the box. That'll be a free kick. But that first ball was a dangerous one coming up. The Lady Falcons had had their striker Carmen Felipe in position. So now Felipe will stand over the free kick about 22 yards out, waiting on the whistle. Lady Redskins haven't built a wall per se yeah. because the uh, Falcons. Oh, woo! That's a nice bend down. Going for goal. Keeper comes out. Fulton Falcons get another opportunity off the deflection, and the Lady Redskins are able to clear that very dangerous play. Back up to Carmen Felipe, unable to get the That's shot the off shot. there. Yeah. So, a lot of intense action happening here quickly. <laughs> very good defense, though. A lot of Redskins. I think we're seeing some attack yeah. from the Falcons recently. Yeah, they, a lot. They, they must have so, changed something. <laughs> that time. They, yo, Falcons looking really good on the attack right there in, in both instances. 
Yeah, guys, they really are. They're playing like a different team out there, committing more players forward, closing that huge gap in the midfield area. You'd think as the game went on, they'd get more tired, but we're seeing them a lot uh, more alive. Yeah, you'd almost want to say, let's play it this way in the first half and see yeah. what happens. <laughs> Might be a little before, before, we're, before we're down six, but Lee Redskins back on the offensive. Nice, nice use of the body there to shield the ball. in the game as well. Is that is that her right there, number 26? Playing in the midfield. Yep. Yep. So. Is it Zoe on the throw? Yeah, Zoe. Zoe Adams. Getting ready to run up for the throw. Looking for Moran. Cleared by the Falcons. Punched back up by the Lady Redskins. And uh, it's Brianna Sanchez. Also in the game there, Caitlin Miller, number zero, with that throw in. Zoe Adams punches it across the field. Lady Falcons looking to counter. Yurelli Gonzalez. Yes. But yeah, Urelli Gonzalez doing a good job right there taking the ball up that far touchline, thwarting the Fulton counter. We'll continue with a little ping pong here in the middle third. I don't think it was that. Uh, Fulton's turned up the heat a little bit right here. Stoppage of play to get in the sub. Back on the field is number 21, Taylor Mua. Now goes Bethany Stevens. Yep, and that's uh, Bethany Quickfoot Stevens coming off the pitch. <clears throat> Beautiful night for some football action. 20 minutes left on the clock. Lady Redskins leading six to nil. Not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, beautiful, perfect weather. And center ref blows a whistle, saw something she didn't like over there and let throw in on the far side. Couldn't be an illegal throw because it's going to be a free kick. No? They, they, they got in position like it's going to be a free kick, and then it turns out it was a bad throw. So, Lady Falcons move it up, and that right there is why you want to throw the ball up the touch line as much as you can because the Redskins forced to, to put it out, and Fulton will throw it again with better position. This time the fight will be around the 30 yard line on the football field. Some more attack that we're seeing. Now, Lady Redskins doing a good job of dropping back. That ball's going to be knocked out. And I'm, I'm not used to, to, to who's where yet. And I'm having a hard time seeing those numbers across the field, Jaren. <laughs> who's that over there at left back? Is that, is that, is that Urelli Gonzalez over there? Yes, Did a good job back there on that play, getting the ball uh, away from the striker and punching it out for the throw. Earlier on, fought for the ball in the midfield. Oh, you got to blow the whistle on that. I mean, that was she wasn't going for the ball. That was a straight up body move. Center ref's going to let him play. Another, another pick up ball for the keeper. Comes all the way up to the 18 yard line to make the punt. Mm -hmm. 
ball by, back and forth. And that's number one, Abby Diggs, who has been the throw-in specialist tonight. She's, I think she's played every position on the field so far. Redskins again able to dribble it out the side of the box. And rolls reversed a little bit here. Fulton seeing a little bit of possession time on the attacking third. Had the ball teed up there, didn't take the shot. Rolls out of the attempt to cross back over is caught by the keeper, not before it went out the byline, and that'll be a red skin goal kick. More substitutions. Redskins are able to keep plenty of fresh legs in the game. I saw number seven in that come back in. Is that no? Uh, that's Marietta. That's that's Marietta. I think that's Marietta wearing Kayla's jersey. Yeah. That, that's, that's exactly what they've done. So the Beast and Margarita are gonna trade out shirts there. And they're gonna be looking to get Marietta the ball up front. Marietta and Caitlin up top. More, more solid play in the goal there. Beautiful punt. That's a driving punt all the way over the 50 yard line. Good job by Caitlin. And the Falcons able to clear it out. Redskins gonna to try to drive the ball up top again. Marietta makes a oh, makes a move. Good. Crossover dribble. She may get the shot. Oh. And rolls off. That, yeah, that's pushed out. Referee's awarding a corner to the Lady Redskins. Marietta just about got her chance on the goal right there. Um, you don't see your keepers scoring the goals. Yeah. A little roll reversal here. Now it's the Redskins trying to go over the top with the ball and the, the Falcons playing a little more of a possession style. And it'll be a red skin corner kick. And going over to take it is Taylor Mua. I don't know if that short pass. Yep, the uh, Urelli Gonzalez going over to uh, that little play where the Redskins try to get it at the corner of the box and bring it in at a different angle. Corner, corner drifts through the middle, cleared away. You saw Marietta on that corner play come out late to give the uh, give another alternative, trying to try and draw defenders out of the box. And that may have been what opened up a little bit of space for that ball to leak through. Right now it's a battle in the middle third. <laughs> And it's Caitlin Miller coming out with the ball. Dribbles between two defenders. She's still on the ball. Caitlin Miller into the box. And yeah, she got, got, got her hands there. up in the, <laughs> got her hands up in the numbers of uh, number nine, Juana Archuleta, who has to have the longest hair on the field right now. She is completely blocking us from, <laughs> from calling her name tonight. So, free kick from the Falcons. Kind of a boot right there, too. Going to land around the 40, fought over at midfield. Yeah. Give him back to the Falcons, they and Abby Diggs will now. bring it down this near side. Good crossover move. See if she can do it again. Yep, yep there we go. And she's into the corner of the red skin box. Ooh, wow. Right footed strike. Ooh, Beautiful right, bending right, ball. Awesome. That it's one's off, off the woodwork. And as a goalkeeper, that's a very hard shot to stop when it's just dipping just mm -hmm. under the bar. And I would call that the uh, biggest threat on goal so far oh, yeah, from the sure. Lady Falcons. And yeah, they had numbers up too. Beautiful curling in swinger 
out of this near corner of the box by Abby Diggs, thwarted by the crossbar. As the Lady Falcons with a long throw into the box, it'll be off the Redskins for a corner kick in that far corner. 12 and a half minutes to go, Lady Redskins up six nil. So what we've learned off camera here is that Charonette's mom is cheating, trying to feed him answers to the trivia questions tonight, <laughs> Luke. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. What, what's that? That's shame on both of them. <laughs> You're better half, Marvin. That's what, <laughs> maybe that's what Charonette's liking so much about that uh, digital learning. He's, yeah. he's found a loophole. There's a lot of loopholes. There are a lot of loopholes. <laughs> if you know how to use them, it's the best thing. Now, all right, we got to talk a little football history right mm -hmm. here. People around here, all, a lot of times, they'll refer to soccer as football. Actually, it's foot football. Mm -hmm. It's football if you're speaking Portuguese or Spanish yeah. or Italian Spanish. or something. But yeah. it's, it's just straight up football. All of these, uh, all of these games basically descended from the same game. Um, what what folks refer to as football around here is gridiron football. You've heard people say the gridiron. It, it's usually classified as gridiron football, where you got like your your American football we play here in high school, college, and NFL. Canadian football, which has a 55-yard line, it's a 110-yard field. So and they got a few uh, different rules too, like being able to run toward the line of scrimmage when a, when you got a man in motion. Uh, and then you got your variances like XFL and those other uh, arena football and some others. So that's, your, that's your gridiron football. Got your Australian rules football, <laughs> and um, it's it's closer in look to like a rugby. Of course, yeah. then you got your rugby football. Yeah. <laughs> Is that classified as a gridiron? No, 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 no. Rugby, it's, that's its own category. Oh, so you get okay. your rugby football, your gridiron football, your, your Australian rules football, and then of course you've got what we're playing right here. It's an association mm -hmm. football because the teams playing this game early on got into different uh, associations and they would shorten it. So association, those that second syllable, S-O-C, if you're in association, you were a, a sucker. So, you know, like, we in, we tend to put E-R on the, you know, you know, if you paint things, you're a painter. Yeah. So if you're in the association, they didn't go and say association, or they said you were a sucker. <laughs> and it eventually caught on as soccer. And I'd like wow. to point out that that term was invented in Britain. So when they get on to us Americans, for calling football soccer. It's their fault. It's Spit their on. fault. They taught us, don't, if you don't want us to use the word, don't teach it to us. So, uh, I never. So you'll, and you see it a lot in, um, like uh, Bournemouth, for example, their, t their official team name is AFC Bournemouth, mm -hmm. Association Football Club. So, uh, if you look, if you look at the, look at the games, like Australian rules and rugby, mostly you're kicking the ball. It's only our American version where we keep our hands on it most of the game. Lady Redskins, about eight and a half minutes to go in the game, leading 6 0. Tussle in the corner. Yeah. Over there. Carmen Felipe's got to feel frustrated every time she gets a look on gold. She's swarmed. Lady Redskins still doing a good job defensively of doubling up on the ball. And you saw it again right there. Dangerous cross. 
Good job by the red skin keeper to come in, knock that down because that was a sure, that was a sure header into the back post. Yeah, that was not a bad cross at all. Very good by the keeper to come and get that. Sometimes, Luke, it's those really high ones that are more dangerous to deal with than the uh, than that ball coming in low and hot. Got another shot on goal. That that should go down in the books as a save. Seven and a half minutes to go in the game. Marietta also has to be a little little jelly up there <laughs> that all that time she stood back there at goal. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice pass by Marietta. We're going to bring it all the way back for a foul. Marietta was able to cross it to Moran. I think she was looking for an advantage. But... Yeah, and I think I think the center ref was letting them play advantage, but when the uh, play when the play didn't pan out, yeah, she brought it back. That's that's good officiating. Now, I, I'm doubting your mom will chair that will watch this deep into the broadcast. <laughs> That's good officiating is a phrase you don't really hear her say that often. Mm. Now, you wouldn't know that because I'm sitting in the stands while you're over there, you know, sitting on the bench. But Oh, that's tough. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Wait till soccer season. Wait till what season? Soccer. What? what? Football. football. Not football. Football. Straight up football. No, just football. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till association football season. And Moran gets it over to like Emily Cornett. Another one of my former, former Warriors. Mm-hmm. Under, under six minutes on the clock. Six nil advantage for the Lady Redskins. Going to kick it off on the goal kick. Caitlin Miller is all over number 42. Brenda Serrano, she trying to get position. Caitlin was having none of it. And Brianna Sanchez working the ball in the center of the pitch. It's going to be cleared away by the Falcons. And chasing it down is really Gonzalez, the diva, according to Miss Correa. And that, that ball's going out for a Fulton throw in. Talking about the rest. Oh, okay. Well, turn it. I guess. Sorry, I had the camera off there. <laughs> guess your mom is listening late in the broadcast. Get on to you. Could have been a good chance for a cross the middle. They had yeah. two girls in there. So. Yeah, but uh, Sanchez able to to knock the ball out and force Fulton to throw it back in. And all they find there is the head of Taylor Mua. And that possession will be squandered by the goal kick. Ball goes out on Fulton. Bethany, Stephanie, and Kenya coming back into the game. So we got Quickfoot Stevens, Fireball, Fireball Valdezon, and uh, Speedy Gonzalez back on the pitch for the Lady Redskins. And some high fives from Coach Sam for the play of Taylor Mua. And Brianna Sanchez as they'll take a rest. Caitlin Miller with the ball, looking for Kenya up the far touch line, going to turn around and drop it back. Ball back up for Kenya, it's going to go off the Falcons. And here we go. Kenya makes the throw, gets it to Marietta. Again, I'd seen some more of that unselfish play right there. She's trying to get her goalkeeper some looks. Mariella, Marietta quickly <laughs> up to the, almost gave her a new name, quickly up front. 
And if there's one thing that'll get this crowd back off its feet tonight, it'll be it'll be the goalkeeper, Marietta Selby, with the ball up in the box, with a chance to put a uh, uh, put another goal on the scoreboard. Yeah, and they get the ball to Selby. Clear, cleared away again. That touch was too far away for her to keep possession. Bethany. Now Bethany steps back into that one. It's going to keep it. Seen a lot of kickball right now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of kickball, but that's a good job right there by Stephanie. Oh, that was almost through for Marietta. Kenya. Trying to shoot one long. Oh, talk about picking the pocket right there, Cherinette. And here goes Caitlin Miller. Oh, Caitlin. Referee, referee oh, says that's fair play. Caitlin gets oh. it over to Mary in front of the goal, and it's going to go just wide of the post. I don't think she expected it to get through. Caitlin Miller. talking all about that. Caitlin Miller just bulldozed. Main. The Fulton defender and put a nice ball right over uh, to her seen. most of the time goalkeeper, current striker, Marietta Selby. We've seen Caitlin in that defender. So, referee, referee signal for a corner kick. Nobody picked up on that. <laughs> so she, up for a goal she, kick. She, everybody's like, yeah. She had, to, she had to blow the whistle again and say, no, girls, it's from the corner. <laughs> If I'm Caitlin Miller, I, I take that and I slow motion that, oh, yeah. and that's replay. That's, I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all do on TikTok, but I mean <laughs> on Twitter, that'd be my pinned tweet. Oh, and that's a move right there. It's a quick turn. That's yeah, pulled it back. Yeah, you know, nice turn. Just pulled it a little wide, and we are in the last 30 seconds of the game. So Fulton's going to try to take one quick. Down to 20 seconds on the clock. And look at these Lady Redskins still hustling to the ball. They are not giving up that clean sheet tonight. Fulton tried to punch one through, nothing there. Down to six seconds. And the clock's going to tick away with the ball in the middle of the field. And there it is. All zeros. Final score. And that is our game. The Lady Falcons zero Final and score, your Lady Redskins, Redskins six. six. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out this evening. We drive safely home. So, Luke, any final words? Uh, the Redskins played really well defensively. They didn't score any in the second half, I don't believe, but uh, they did a really good job of controlling the game. Jared Nip? I saw a lot of good transitions, you know, playing it back from the keeper and switching sides. And I think the Lady Reds utilized the whole field instead of just one side of it. And we saw a lot of kickball at the first part of it, but they gained control throughout the game. Yeah. It looked really good. Um, I think we saw a lot of the discipline. We said it in the words many times, the training ground. Uh, known in the non-football world as practice. Yeah. <laughs> A lot, of good, a lot of good action tonight by the Lady Redskins. Congratulations to them. Congratulations, Coach Sam. These ladies are on a roll headed toward the uh, end of the season. Good luck, Lady Redskins, moving forward. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Oh. Oh, before we go, Miss Correa is complaining without... She got plenty of acknowledgement, but she was too busy announcing early. So once again, our wonderful field announcer, Ms. Correa. And on that note, have a good night. <laughs>